In this video, we're going to look at creating real-time currency conversions. We're going to look at two methods. The first method will work if on the data tab of Excel, you have this data types gallery. The second method will work in older versions of Excel. Now I'll leave a link in the description of this video to both methods, just to help you navigate through this video. Okay, let's start off with the latest way to do currency conversions. That's in Excel 365. What you would need to do is start off with your currency pairs. So these are all the potential conversions I want to do. So you need the three letter abbreviation for each currency paired together with the currency that you want to convert it to. Then what you do is you select those currency pairs, data tab of your ribbon, in the data types gallery, if you have currencies in this list, click on that, otherwise just click on stocks. And what it will do is it gives you this little icon against each of the currency pairs. You'll get this little add column button. Now the first column you want to add will be price. So that's your conversion. Then you want to add from currency, then add currency. Now these currency conversion rates will update automatically. If you right click on one of these currency pairs, go to data type, refresh settings. Over on the right here, if I expand the stocks section, you can see it's going to automatically refresh every five minutes. You could also say that you only want it to refresh when the file opens or that you only want to refresh manually. We'll keep it at this setting, automatically refreshing every five minutes. Okay, so that's all you need to do with your currency pairs. On a separate sheet, I set up this little table. And what I need is some drop down lists of the different currencies, one drop down list for the from column and then also for the to column. But to do that, I'm going to create the values for the drop down list on a separate sheet. I'm going to use the unique function to extract the unique currencies from my currency pair sheet. So I'll take that from either of these columns, doesn't matter, either the from currency or currency columns. Close the bracket there, press enter. And then if I wanted them in alphabetical order, I could put unique within the sort function. So then back to the currency converter. For these two cells here, on the data tab of my ribbon, I'm going to the data validation button, allow a list. Source will be on the drop down demo sheet, A2 hash. Hash refers to the spilled array of unique values. And now I have a drop down list in each of these. So I can choose Euro there and say Great British Pound there. Now I'm going to put my amount in that I want to convert. So say it was 500 euros and I want to convert it to Great British Pounds. So to do that, I can use XLOOKUP. The lookup value will be this value concatenated with this value, comma. Lookup array will be the from column. So I can select that up there, concatenated with the currency column comma, return array will be the price column. Close the bracket, press enter. It returns the exchange rate. So now what I do is I say this value here, multiplied by the amount, give me the result. So now if I switch these around, you can see that it does the conversion. Let's do US dollars to British pounds. 36355. Now, if I have the from and to currencies the same, I get the NA error. So really the result should be the same as the amount. Just to tidy things up, I could use the if NA function to return the amount value if there's an NA error. Okay, so that's the first method. And you can use that if you have Excel 365 with these data types available. Now with the second method, you're going to need to find some exchange rates on the internet. 
Find a good site for that on xrates.com and I'll leave this URL in the description of the video. But this page allows you to select a currency that you want to see exchange rates for. I've got Great British Pounds here. I've got two tables, top 10, and then all the currencies in alphabetical order. Now I'm going to load this data into Excel. I don't need the full list of currencies. I'm going to copy this web address. In Excel, in a new sheet, go to data. Now I want to extract data from the web. I have a from web button there. If you don't see that, go to get data from other sources from web. Paste your URL into the URL box. Click on OK. So these are the different options you have for extracting data from that web page. If I click on this first option here, you can see that that's the table I want to extract. So I click on load. Now I need to decide how often I want this data to be updated. So at the moment I'm on the table design tab and you can see I've got a refresh button, connection properties, and I want to refresh every say 10 minutes. So now I'm going to go to my currency converter sheet. Now here I'm going to convert from Great British Pounds to whatever currency I select in a drop down list in this cell. So to get the drop down list, go to data, data validation, allow list, source, go to your exchange rate sheet and select all of these currency names. Click on OK. And now I have a drop down list. So let's say Euro. I'm going to convert 500 pounds. Now we we'll use VLOOKUP here. So I want to look up the currency I'm converting to, comma, in the table array. Now that's going to be this table here, comma. The next argument is col index number. The column I want to extract values from is the second column. And the range lookup will be false, exact match. Let's enter. That gives me the exchange rate. Then I would say this times the amount. So if I change this to Australian dollar, it automatically does the conversion. US dollar automatically does the conversion. Now, if you wanted to do exchange rates for different currencies, so the Euro, you would need to download the relevant data from that website I've given you and then do a separate little table for that conversion using the same steps that I've described here. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover for this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.